Hello people, 075 here again and I'm here at Southwick at On The Wheel Superstore. They have kindly let me borrow the Suzuki Katana. So let's go and sit in the saddle and see what we think for a first impression review for you. Originally manufactured between 1981 and 2006, Suzuki reaped from the success of its GSX 1100S Katana. When it was launched, Suzuki claimed it to be the fastest mass production motorcycle in the world, and you can probably see why. With distinctive looks, it had unprecedented performance levels too. While the Katana name, taken from a traditionally made Japanese single-sided sword used by the samurai, remained in some global markets until 2006, it disappeared in others, focusing on the GSX F range. Katana name did reappear with the arrival of Suzuki 50cc AY50 scooters from 1997. Fast forward to today. Suzuki has revived its iconic 1980s sharp-edged legend. Right. Cool. It's a bit on the tall side. Oh, smooth. Ooh. Nice. Mounting the Katana, the tank feels wide. Seated, it's comfortable, albeit in a more upright position. I do feel my arms slightly extended with my back and shoulders taking up support as gravity pulls me forward towards the dash, finding myself hanging over the tank. While the short height screen a styling, I would imagine it would have little impact to deflect airborne critters. As we hit the streets, it certainly feels at home, comfortable and predictable. It made a good impact on me. Sitting in an upright position, you can see over the cars in front, and I feel it would be a joy to ride when commuting. Right, bypass. So let's just open up a bit. As we head up through the ultra smooth six speed gearbox, your ear is drawn to the similar sounding rev levels emanating from the exhaust. All the gears sound the same. Heading onto the dual carriageway and the plentiful torque at around 108 newton metres, it will swiftly send you to licence losing speeds within a few seconds or so. Good airflow. No air disturbance. Oh, I'm wanting a seat. Find me seat. I can actually start to feel pressure from the handlebars because obviously I think I'm leaning forward a bit too much just on the outer edges. God, so smooth. A bit hard ride. The engine's lovely though. Riding the poor state of our local roads, it absorbed with ease. It is an easy bike to ride. The Katana is a very well balanced and feels great for street riding. The throttle response is smooth, giving me better controlled acceleration. Well, I'm just going to see what it's like on country roads. Hold down for the fourth. Second. For 1000cc fanatics, 
the respected low stroke K5 engine makes this a very enjoyable street machine. With traction control and ABS, it will be welcomed by a broader range of riders. That gear change is so smooth. The Brembo four piston caliper brakes gripping against a 310mm disc is superb, strong and will pull you to a halt in a heartbeat. Cool, it starts, it starts beautifully. Through country village. But needs a bit of telling what to do. I'm going to go in for the overtake if it, the way is clear, so it's going to fall I think. I got third. Is the way clear? No. Upon first looks, you can distinctly see where old meets new. You can't escape the square split styling of the LED headlight. For me, this is the anchor point of its design. The cutting edge lip under the headlight, its curved sword lines continue over its broad shoulders, hold the 999cc liquid-cooled 16-valve inline-4 DOHC engine based on the GSXR 1000 K5. At certain angles, I like its unique modern styling. The seat looks tidy while emulating the contrasting colours of the 1980s original. But with the flaring tail, it helps pull the lines through to the rear of the bike where the light offers a nice finishing touch. The OEM rear hugger, which is attached to the swing arm, is, shall we say, a distinctive feature, with the indicators and registration plate positioned lower down. If you're not keen on this look, RNG Racing has an alternative tail tidy which, as they say, would radically transform the rear of the bike, and I would have to agree. It would save over a kilogram in weight too. I've put a link in the description. The inverted monochrome looking LCD instrument cluster offers clarity with good sized fonts showing rev counter, temperature, a 5 bar fuel gauge, gear selector, odometer, fuel range, trip and average fuel consumption and time. Symboled LEDs accompany the screen. Oh, turn circles not the best. Gotta give this bike its juice, it's impressive. Perfect for dry weather Sunday morning rider if you want to ride something modern but with a distinctive return to 80s styling. 
Looking at the metallic Mystic Silver fuel tank certainly seems sizeable, but alas, behind the facade lasts a 12 litre tank, so do expect frequent fuel stops. With an average fuel reading of around 52 mpg, there's a low chance of a numb derriere as you seek to refuel every 120 to 130 miles or so. This could be a little irritating if riders with others have longer fuel range bikes. If you like this review, please do subscribe and smash that bell. Your subscription would be greatly appreciated. That aside, the bike plants itself beautifully through the corners. It handles exceptionally well. Although it is smooth, it can still excite. It may not appeal to everyone, but then its unique flavour could be the point to some. It is an everyday commuter bike with a 1000cc as a significant ingredient which sounds excellent under acceleration. There is a certain pitch where it just resonates lovely. Looking for alternatives? You could try the GSX S1000 or the Fair GSX S1000F, which both have a 17 litre fuel capacity which the Katana is based on. Or head for the smaller GSX S750 which could be cheaper and could still offer up a whole bag of fun. Overall though, while its unique retro styling influences taken from the original Katana, this offbeat looking motorcycle did indeed grow on me in the flesh. I would certainly recommend taking one for a test ride. You'll soon see why Suzuki resurrected the Katana. It's nice to see a manufacturer trying something different. If you enjoyed this review of the Suzuki Katana, kindly on loan from on the wheel in the Southwick, then please do subscribe and smash that bell. Your subscriptions would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, thank you for watching.